Just got a new, very exciting product tease from 1x Player, and this thing could be a potential game changer. Now, in case you're not familiar with 1x Player, they are a smaller PC hardware company, but they do have a very enthusiastic following thanks to their willingness to be more innovative and just try new things when compared to uh, legacy brands like Dell and HP. If we take their X1 for example, this was one of my favorite handhelds over the past year because One X Player was not afraid to put a massive 11 inch screen on a handheld. They also paired it with the HX370, which is even more powerful than the cutting edge Z2 Extreme chip. And on top of having detachable Joy-Cons, there's also a detachable keyboard, making this a three-in-one device. So even though this device may not be as polished around the edges as something from Apple or HP, the company is certainly not afraid of trying new things. Now, when it comes to this market of portable, powerful gaming PCs in late 2025, the, the frontier is all around AMD's top-end Strix Halo 395 Plus chip. Companies are racing to find a way to put these into smaller and smaller portable game PCs to really make a whole new class of products that have a ton of power and portability. This right here is GPD's attempt at this with their upcoming Win 5. It's a 7-inch handheld running this insane 16-core chip with a dual fan cooling solution and an external removable battery pack. Certainly a very interesting approach, but this latest one from 1x Player, I gotta say, really has my attention. They decided to cram this chip into a slim 2-in-1 gaming tablet. Now, they are not the first company to do this. The product overall does look pretty similar to the Asus Flow Z13. And this device is essentially a Microsoft Surface Pro that has a ton more power and is a legit gaming 2-in-1. And that's what's so exciting about this chip. It gives you true laptop levels of performance equivalent to an RTX 4070, but it's small and efficient enough to be put into these much smaller devices. Now, compared to that Z13, the One X player has some key upgrades over even that device. First off, the screen here is 14 inches, and I do like that it puts it somewhere in between the traditional 13 inch and 15 inch gaming laptop. But also by being one inch bigger than the Z13, it allows for a little bit more internal space for cooling. And I think that's how they're able to run this chip at a TDP of 120 watts. That's super impressive and gets essentially all of the performance possible out of this chip. While the Z13, for example, runs at about 90 watts and the smaller 7-inch handheld from GPD we mentioned is limited to only 70 watts. And another key upgrade here is to do with the display panel. So as mentioned, it's 14 inches and they claim a high refresh rate without actually providing any specific figures at this time. But I would expect a range of... 120 to 144 hertz. We do know the resolution, which comes in at a pretty nice 2.8K, and most importantly of all, they are making the move to an OLED display panel. And this is absolutely huge. OLED is always one of the most requested features, and as of right now, in this segment of the market, it is still a rather sparse feature. We also know the battery will be fairly large at 83 and a half watt hours. And I also wanna mention how the hinge design here appears to be almost the same as the Microsoft Surface. So essentially what we have here is a very innovative PC that implements AMD's top end 395 plus chip running at nearly its full potential, 120 watts, inside of a portable and versatile two-in-one tablet with a big, high-resolution, high-refresh rate OLED display. And if they can keep the price tag reasonable, I do expect it to be expensive, but hopefully less so than the aforementioned Z13, then this device will be extremely compelling. But of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.